Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to bring you my birthday haul. My birthday was December the 20th and I allowed myself to do a little bit of shopping and I just wanted to share a few things that I got. It's not a lot, just a little bit, but you know, I haven't done a haul in such a long time that I found it deemable to do one for my birthday. So let's just see what I got for my birthday. And these are items that I have bought myself. Um, I'm not showing anything that was given to me. So just stuff that I bought myself. Splurged on myself. But anyways, first thing, um, a lot of these things are stuff that I have been eyeing since the winter stuff has come out and you know just watching it seeing if it a goes on sale or if it goes out of stock and none of these went on sale except for one after I bought it but <sighs> let's just dive on in so the first thing that I really wanted when it first came out you know it wasn't a hot commodity, but I personally wanted it was the Too Faced um, Melted Matte Limited Edition um, Peppermint Mocha Scented um, Lip Product. And I didn't see too many people talk about this, so I was kind of excited because then I knew that it would stay in stock for a long time. Um, it was only at Sephora, and it's kind of like a reddish pinkish color and it's really really pretty it smells like peppermint mocha mocha but the peppermint kind of dissipates as it is on your lips so that was one of the things I decided to get myself another was this NARS unfiltered um, blush palette so Sephora did a video on this before Thanksgiving and I was like gun ho so after that video from that point on I was like stalking Sephora's website to find this blush palette and I'm thinking like okay so they did the video but the product is not on their their you know website yet like I'm confused why would they do the video and it ain't on there so trust me I was like looking every week and then finally they decided to, you know, I didn't know it was a spring item. And I, when they did their video, Savora's own YouTube videos, they didn't announce that it was spring. Or at least I don't remember them announcing it. But this is, this is, um, unfiltered one, I think. Yep. And it's got the more darker hued colors and then highlights. Um... I've already played around with this and I love the way these feel and these are so pretty and I'm so happy I got this because I was going to pass on this and get the hourglass one and I'm so happy I didn't get the hourglass one because after seeing all the reviews and reading them, reading the reviews, like no I don't really think that it would have work, worked with me but this I'm I am so happy I got this. I'm loving this. I'm happy there is no Bacuna bronzer. I'm happy there's no Casino bronzer in it. And I am happy there's no Ida brush in it. And I'm happy there's no Orgasm in it. Shay, no, I'm just playing. But I'm really, really happy. I've already swatched all these colors. I've already worn it on my cheek. And I love it. I love the NARS palettes. But I'm starting to like their blushes too, like as a whole. Um, so, I don't know. Anything, anyways, anything. Another item that I have been eyeing and kind of hoping that it would go on sale because the past previous holiday palettes eventually have all gone on sale. This one, which is the Rare Minerals um, Wishless Palette, did not go. Like, it didn't eventually go on sale. It actually um, sold out in Sephora. Well, online. And then um, Ulta still has it listed as the original price. Around this time is when it goes on sale. The other palette that was out um, simultaneously for Bare Minerals, 
um, did go on sale. So I was kind of sad because I was hoping this would too because the one I got last year went on sale too and then the ones the year before eventually went on sale because not too many people talk about bare minerals. Why I don't know, I mean granted they don't have like bright 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 colors but their eyeshadows are bomb. They're like super soft, pigmented, and just very little effort goes into it. So this is what the palette looks like. It's very sturdy, very, uh, like this is legit, like good packaging. I wish that you can um, fill it and hold it through the video. But um, it has the magnetic closing. It has a huge, like, huge mirror, which I am not going to blind you with. But these are the colors that the palette comes with. And, you know, they're just neutral colors. Nothing like hoopla to jump over, you know, do cartwheels over. But this is the palette that I wanted. And we got. Okay. So, the next palette that I'm going to talk about is the Too Faced Peach Palette. This palette. This darn palette. Listen. So, Too Faced. I'm going to give you a little, you know, my story on this. Not that you might not care, but Too Faced popped up images of this holiday 2015 last year the moment i saw images of this i wanted it i wanted it i wanted it okay i wanted it so holiday december 2015 they popped up images it's gonna be out in the spring so i'm like cool i can wait so spring came around and the palette came out and it came out of line I'm thinking like mm, I really want to see it and want to purchase it in a store I'm tired of ordering stuff online and then if I order because at that point I, I was not VIB Rouge so I didn't get free shipping I didn't want to order you know what I'm saying I just didn't want to order online I wanted it to get it from the store so I went into the store release I was there the day that it released in Alta. They try to say the one by me that they they put their all their palettes out and it sold out right away. BS. BS. Not one palette was out on shelf, but they sold out. So then they told me this 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 palette, the hunt for this, pissed me off. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. And I I and I hate I hate searching or going for limited edition stuff that's such a hot commodity that it's you know a constant search that bugs me that drives me crazy and it's annoying and it's not really me but for some reason I had to have this palette so you know the older people would tell me hey come back Friday we get our shipment in Thursday we'll have it up you know Friday so you don't know how many times I literally drove to this Ulta looking for this palette and people i.e the co or employees of the facility are telling me you know it's gonna the, you know we're gonna get a shipment try this time or we're gonna get a shipment try this time so it was a, one other time that they told me we're gonna get a shipment so i decided to call before i drove over there because i was tired of driving and i called and there was like well we do have them, but we have a list, a wait list of people who, you know, um, wanted it. Is your name on the list? And I'm thinking like, nah, my name ain't on the gosh darn list because the list was never offered to me. And as many times as I've been in this store and asked everyone in them, employees, if they had the peach palette, somebody should have offered me the option for my name to be on the list if there was a list. I ranted um, on Twitter to Ulta because I was pissed. Like at this point, I was clearly pissed. I was clearly pissed because I felt like I felt like, and I know that the people that work at Ulta 
probably have first dibs and stuff but I felt like they took all the palettes and they just BS all the customers and honestly that's not fair that's not fair so for you to say that there's a list and you know I never got off of this list and I've been in this store 10 times looking for this same palette it pissed me off. So I ranted about it in Ulta, customer service, blah, blah, blah. I never got anywhere anyways. So I was sad, but I got over my emotions and I tried to find dupes and blah, 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 my life. But um, when I heard that this was coming back out, okay. I don't, you know, I, I'm patiently waiting. Patiently. And, I, you know, so it's around this time. And I know that it is out online and Sephora and Ulta but I don't really honestly trust Ulta shipping I really don't I'm gonna be honest that that's a rant within itself but um so I'm just like okay I'm gonna wait until you know it comes in the stores I get my little $10 gift from Ulta for my birthday and they're supposed to come they was first they said they were coming out in the stores January the 4th and then also has online that they're coming out December the 27th, I think. And I really was like thinking to myself, well, we got this 20% coupon. I wish that they would before the 24th. Out before. And this is the long run. I'm going I'm to speed it up. I'm sorry. Anyways, long story short, on my birthday, the 20th, I went to the store because I got my little, you know, little coupon thing to get your free birthday gift. Your free birthday gift. And um, I went to the store, I saw the display. I was like, what? Oh my God, oh my God. They have the peach palette. I walk over to the display and I clearly see they have like, you know, the price of a peach palette, $49. Um, all the lipsticks, um, the blush, the blah, blah, blah. And I'm looking like, oh dang. And I went on my lunch break. My lunch break was like 140. They had already sold out on this palette. It was an early release and they had already sold out of this palette. I'm like, what the heck? I couldn't get lucky on my birthday and got this palette. Probably if I had gotten there an hour early, I probably would have had a palette. So I was a little pissed, a little teed off then too. I'm like, dang it, dang it. And so talked to them coworker just to see if they may have had some in the back. Of course, no, we don't have none. We get shipping on Thursday. You try again on Thursday. I was like, Marr, BS, BS, BS. But Thursday, which is today, the day I'm shooting, I'm, you know, I'm up and I'm like, okay, I don't have to work today. I'm going to get, I'm going to call them I'm, or I'm just going to go there. And if they don't have it, I'll, I'll get something else to satisfy. <clears throat> Money. Anyways, I look online to see if it's in stock. It said in stock. I quickly put my clothes on. Said deuces to my kids and my husband. Went to Ulta. There was. There was my pH palette fully, like the display fully stocked. And mama finally got you. I got you. You will work. But I got it. I got it. I've been wanting this baby since this baby popped up on the gram. And on the website by the owner of the company, I've been wanting this. And I'm pulling it out like nobody's ever seen this palette. This palette is like super, you know, popular. <coughs> but I finally, finally, finally got my peach palette. So now I'm thinking of getting one of the lip products and I'm thinking about getting the highlighter. I just wanted to make sure I got this palette and I'm done because after I get the Tarte palette, um, the Tarte Lip Pro palette, I'm going on a spending freeze. For me personally, I need to go on a spending freeze. freeze. I'm doing financial safe things for the 2000, 2013 but this has been a long freaking video of me talking I had to get that story out because you know there's a story behind that palette but anyways the next thing I got this wasn't really part of my birthday haul I got this before my birthday it was the nutcracker um glitter and um, pigment set from MAC this one was the 
sweet gold pigment. I wanted to get both. This item went on sale after I bought this. So I don't even know if they have any of the other ones still in stock. I don't feel like doing no shipping or ordering online. So I really, really like this though. This is my first time getting the pigments from MAC. I always look at them every year and I think to myself, ah, do I really, really need it? I want it, but I never get it. And by the time I actually want it, it's stock. It's out of stock. So then <clears throat> last but not least from Ulta, I got the free eyeshadow from Urban Decay, which is in the color Midnight Cowboy. I don't know if this just if this is just, you know, the birthday item or if this is actually a color in line. But it's kind of just a a pale pink with a little um glitter in it. Then oh Jesus. Kind of close it a little too hard. And then I got a few items from Sephora. Um, I got the birthday fresh um, wash and mask, rose face mask, and soy face cleanser. You either got that or the Marc, Jacob, Marc Jacobs lipstick. And I have enough lipstick, so I didn't. Need, I did not need another red lipstick. Then I got um, a YSL perfume that I wanted to try because I'm on the hunt for a perfume now. I got the Chloe one too because so many people talk about Chloe, which this smells good, but it was so fragrant when I wore it that it made my sinuses go crazy and made me have a headache at work. But the after smell of it, after it sits on you for a while and, you know, blends in with your your natural body aroma it smells so good it's just really fragrant <clears throat> and I got a philosophy moisturizer and one of um, the free like colds or whatever I got a um, Bobbi Brown skin smoothing pore perfecter this looks bigger online but it's so small but, um, yeah, so guys, that was my birthday haul. I'm older, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. So, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.